In this video I'm going to show you guys how to apply a Q8 Airlines livery to my Airbus A320 in Minecraft. Now if you guys don't already have the base plane, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a video that you guys can check out before this one. Also if this is the first time coming across my channel, we're here to help you build bigger and better, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world, here is the Q8 Airlines livery and this is the base plane that you'll get from my tutorial. So in terms of the blocks, it's actually quite simple with this one, we're going to need a warped trapdoor, warped slab, warped stairs, blue concrete. Also guys, if we ever get any other blues, please do switch these out, it's the closest we've got at the minute in Minecraft. Uh, we're going to need a light blue concrete, a prismarine wall, also if we get another one of those. <laughs> um, blue skulker box and a stone button. Those are your materials that you're going to need for the entirety of this tutorial, so keep them on your bar. We're going to do the engines first, actually we can do the wingtips first because I'll forget them otherwise. Where we've got the stairs, we're going to replace that just stair right at the end. And we're going to replace the iron trapdoors with your warped trapdoor like this, okay? So really simple little replacement there. Same on the other side. Just switch these out like that. And same here. And there as well there we go right engines wise i'm gonna do these so we've got two different types of blue in this so we'll try and do the best we can where we've got these stairs at the bottom we're going to replace these with warped stairs upside down this slab is going to be a warped slab like that underneath this whole thing we're actually going to replace this uh, also grab that anvil because you're going to need it uh, replace this with your blue concrete all right so we're going to need blue concrete like that there and then replace your anvil in there as well. While we're on the inside of this, we're going to just replace that stair as well. This bottom one down here, just replace that stair like that. Now, underneath the last trapdoor that we've got is going to be replaced with a warp trapdoor like this. Where we've got this block in the middle, we're going to replace that with a light blue uh, concrete block. These two diorite walls are going to be switched out for prismarine walls. And then finally, this slab at the top is going to be replaced with a warped slab like that. Now I'll do the best on the other side that we can. So we've got the stairs first, at least we can do that exactly. That block we can replace with a nice light blue concrete block. And we've got the prismarine wall blocks that we can put in there as well. And also the warped trapdoor like that at the back. Okay, so let's do the same on the other side now. We'll do it in exactly the same order. So we go from the outside, one, two, three, with these stairs. Put the slab in there. Underneath, gonna replace that. The anvil will fall. Put in blue concrete, and then you're going to replace that anvil as we did before. There we go. Placing a warped stair right there in the middle. Then on the side again, we're going to have that light blue concrete, two prismarine walls, and then we're going to have a warped slab at the top there like that. So down here, one, two, three with your stairs, a slab, light blue concrete, and then your two prismarine walls get placed into here, just like that. Then on to the writing on the plane. Now we're going to do the right hand side first. So we're going to have a warped trapdoor. We're going to, uh, sorry, not warped trapdoor, warped stair. We're going to go back four times from the door here. So go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four with our stairs. Leave one, go to the next one there. If we work our way backwards, we're going to have these two right here are going to go forwards. The next two are going to be here, like that. Underneath, so we just leave a gap, have another two, and then we're going to have a blue concrete block there on that side. On to the other side now. Right next to the door, we're going to have a warped stair. Leave one, we're going to have four, one, two, three, and four. Put in your stairs there. Underneath the last ones, we're going to have three of them going towards the front of the plane. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Leave one, have a stair like that. And then we're going to have a blue concrete block there like that, right next to it. Onto the tail piece now, guys. What we're going to do first is right underneath this, where we've got the stair on the stone layer, we're going to have the block. The first block, we're going to replace that with blue concrete. We're then going to have a warped stair coming off of that with two warped slabs like this. The slab that's right next to that blue concrete block, we're going to replace that one with a warped slab. Then above this, we're going to have a blue concrete block on top and one going towards the front of the plane like that. With the slabs that we've got underneath this, including the one that's underneath the uh, door, we're going to actually replace that door in a second, we're going to have the four slabs going, uh, switching out to warped, okay? So one, two, three, four, 
like that there. Then where we've got this window, we're going to have two windows replaced with warped stairs like that. And then one diagonal from that is going to be a warped stair like that there, okay? Then we'll put in two blocks of blue concrete right next to that going towards the door. The door's going to be replaced with a blue skulker box and we're going to place a stone button on top. Then what we're going to do on top of that skulker box is place a warped uh, slab. Right next to it, we're going to have, well, not really next to it, but going back, we're going to have this uh, two blocks of light blue concrete here, like that there, okay? Now we're going to do the same on the other side before we go too far, but this has kind of got an interesting kind of flick upwards, and then we get onto the rest of the tail as well. So, where are we? We're right in the way down here, so we're going to have that slab first. This one's going to be replaced with a normal slab. Then with blue concrete, we're going to place a block on top of that slab. I'm going to go one forwards. The four slabs that we've got underneath this are going to be replaced with warped slabs. And we can also replace this door here with a blue skulker box with a uh, stone button on top. Then with our warped stairs on top of the last slab, we're going to have these two stairs right here. Going to be replaced. Then right here, diagonal from that, we're going to have another stair like that there. The blocks right next to this are going to be replaced with blue concrete, like that. There we go. And what we're also going to do is on top of that skulker box, we're going to place in a warped slab. And then next to it right here, we're going to have two blocks of light blue concrete, like that there. Okay, so now let's fly over to the other side again, because we've now got it it's all kind of uh, synced up. We're going to continue on this light blue concrete bit. We'll get this bit done. So we've got these two here. We're going to go diagonal, which goes onto the main uh, vertical stabilizer. We're going to have a block there. We're going to go diagonal again. Diagonal again. But we're also going to have another block coming back from here with your light blue. Then what we're going to do is we're going to leave one block above this. And where we've got these stairs, we're going to place in a light blue right here. Go down, uh, go across one and also go down one like that. So you get this little gap here. Just there, all right? And then from this last one, we've got this last block right here. That's also going to be a light blue block like that. The block that's right here, we're going to switch this one out for blue concrete. On the top, these are going to be switched out for two warped slabs like that. For our warped stairs now, we're going to have the upside down bits are going to be replaced with warped stairs here and here like that. At the back, we're going to have this stair like that, switched out to a warped one. And also have a warped slab right here with your blue concrete, two blue concretes right in here on the back there like that. What we're also going to do is we're going to have blue concrete going around. So pretty much all of this bit, uh, that kind of like light blue is like a um, outline, we're going to actually replace from here. So this one, this blue is going to be switched out for blue. I'm going to go down here. Uh, replace those ones. Now I think I just destroyed a stair as well. <laughs> so try not to destroy too much of your plane as you go, like I do apparently. There we go. And also, should also put them in. But that's what you'll end up getting. It's this bit that goes around here like that there. And then the rest is relatively easy. So we're going to have a warped stair here. The, the last one there is going to be replaced. We're going to have a warped slab right there. And almost the rest is going to be blue now, all right? So um, the only bits that get kept are these white slabs there, the white sla uh, stairs right there. But the rest of it, where we've got a block, you replace it with blue concrete. So we'll do those ones first because it's nice and easy. And a nice block there and a block there. Get those two replaced. These ones under here. Two, three, and four. We also get these ones here. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then the slab here gets replaced. Leave those two underneath the uh, horizontal stabilizers. The slabs there get replaced. Slabs there, slab there. Block there as well gets replaced like that. And that's basically what we'll do with this thing. On the other side as well, exact same thing. Let's do the blocks first, why not? So three of them right here, two of them right there. I forgot about the stair here, so let's get that stair in there. And also that slab. And then we've got a couple more blocks. And then it's just a couple of extra slabs here, like that. There, there we go. So, if you guys do need to pause it at all, let me get into a good place where you guys can do that. If you need to get any different angles, things like that, then at least you can. All right, cool. And then the last thing we're going to do is get ourselves our debug stick. So, slash give your name and then debug stick. 
um, we are going to do a couple of little bits and pieces here. So with these ones, I'm going to make them face north and make it to tool. And I'm also going to get rid of the up property in the middle. Now, since I've got that up property there, I'm also going to, I don't know if I'll be able to replace it on this. Nope, apparently not. Okay, cool. That's fine. We'll go to the other side. We'll get that one done first then. So, yep, get rid of up, get rid of up. And we need that north to go up. There we go. Okay. Now on the sides, what we can do is we can go and find the up property and set those to false. And that will just smooth it out. Makes it look a lot smoother. Do the same on the other side. Since it remembers what we were on last, it makes it nice and easy. Um, now, since I copy and pasted mine, I should have it like this, but uh, mine goes like that. So I'm just going to correct this by getting rid of those properties. So I do want the low, but I want the up to be false. There we go, like that. And the same with this one as well. We've got that there. But this time west is there. And it's the same with these front ones as well. So what you might have, uh, luckily we all need all of them to be up. That one copied fine, <laughs> but that one didn't. Yep, yeah, up I want gone from just those two on the side. West I want up, yep, like that. And what's next? We've got east. Okay, well east is just that one there. Not that thing. That thing there. Then north as well. So there we go. So I want this tool and smooth. This one's just going to be tool. Then it just mirrors around on the other side. But anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to comment, like and subscribe. And as always guys, I'll see you on the next one.